Hi guys, so what I wanted to do today really quickly is just give you guys some tips for how to make the most out of your at-home workouts. So obviously everyone is either self-quarantining right now or we're stuck at home. So we're working out from home is, is realistically the only option for a lot of people. Many of you guys right now have already downloaded my free muscle at home workout plan. If you haven't, I will post a link down below. Uh, when you get to check out, you're just gonna put in the code free, F-R-E-E, -E, and you can get my program absolutely free. Um, it requires absolutely zero equipment. It's completely scaled. So whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced athlete, um, there's something in there for everyone. And every exercise also comes with demonstration videos so you know exactly what to do as well. So moving into my tips for making the absolute most out of that program, number one is gonna be nutrition. Um, this is one of the few things that we can control in this situation. I know the grocery stores are a little uh, thin right now, um, so you may have to get a little bit creative with it, but we can control our intake and we can track our intake and we should have plenty of time on our hands to do that. So if you're someone that's like, oh, I just don't have time to track, well, no excuse now. So number one on the nutrition side of things is gonna be our protein intake. So whether your goal is to build muscle, burn body fat, just maintain what you have, keeping a high protein intake is gonna allow you to hold on to as much of that muscle mass as you possibly can. Um, we're not able to put our muscle under as much stress as we potentially could do at the gym. So making sure that we provide it with adequate protein um, resources is gonna be absolutely paramount in this situation. So for most of you out there, somewhere in the one gram to one pound of body weight is gonna be a good bet. That is definitely very high, um, particularly if you're a little bit overweight. Um, but in this case, I think better to be safe than sorry. I would rather over consume on protein than under consume. Now, the other thing to kind of be aware of is you might need to think about adjusting your calorie intake, particularly if your goal is going to be to lose body fat. Um, you have to take into account the fact that you are not moving around as much as you perhaps normally would on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you're probably stuck at home, on the computer, doing work on the computer, watching Netflix, um, whatever it is, you're probably not moving as much as you typically would. So you might wanna consider um, dropping your calories a little bit lower than you normally would um, to make up for that. I do have to say, I don't think losing body fat should be a priority in this scenario. I think that holding on to as much muscle mass as you can should be the priority. Although I know some people, they just want to lose body fat. They don't care. Um, but personally, I think you'd be better off just trying to maintain your muscle mass. And then once, hopefully when things turn back to normal, you can, you know, reintroduce weight training and we can start to focus on losing body fat again. Um, if you are trying to build muscle, definitely keep that protein high. Keep your calories high. Don't go crazy. Um, we don't want to be putting on tons of body fat, so be reasonable with it, um, but keep your calories up there for sure. Now, tip number two is going to be train to failure. So it's not something that I typically actually recommend when we're in a weight room is training to failure all the time, but because we are limited to body weight movements for the most part, um, they tend to be a little, have less impact on our central nervous system um, so we can take it to failure. We can really push ourselves in this scenario and the recovery is going to be good and we're going to be good to go on the next day. So when you are going through these workouts, take yourself as close as you can to failure on every single set. You'll notice that I didn't put any rep schemes in there. That's because I want you to take yourself as far as you can. Okay. So for the first few rounds on each, on each circuit, you're going to be going one to two reps shy of failure. And then on that very last round, Take it all the way. Push yourself as hard as you can. Your recovery will be absolutely fine the next day, provided we're getting enough protein intake in there. Tip number three is going to be rest periods. Keep the rest periods as short as you possibly can. In the program, I put it 30 to 60 seconds. For some of you, that might be a little bit too quick if you're um, very untrained. So just go as quickly as you can. So, I mean, like someone like me, for example, I'm used to lifting like 
heavy weights for very, very low amounts of reps and taking like three minute rest periods. So this has definitely been a shock to the system for my body. And I'm gonna require a little bit longer rest period than even I've prescribed in that program there. I'm gonna go up to like a minute 30 as I start to fatigue. I wanna keep that movement quality good even though I'm taking myself to absolute failure. So in order to do that, I might take a little bit longer on the rest periods. Um, as a general rule, I would just say, go as quickly as you can whilst maintaining a good amount of output there. So there's no point in resting for 30 seconds and then only being able to get like five reps on the next round. We wanna be able to get at least 10. So give yourself enough rest that's gonna allow for that but try and keep it quick. We want to keep that heart rate up. We want to keep things going. Um, these are short, high intensity workouts that we're doing. Tip number four is going to be scale your workouts. So uh, you'll notice on the program that I put anywhere from five to 10 rounds. Now, unless you are super, super fit and you have an incredible cardiovascular system, do not start with 10 rounds. Um, I personally am going for five rounds right now. That's where I'm at. Some of you may even be less. Some of you may be even three or five. That's okay. Just start slow and give yourself room to scale up. And this is a mistake that people make all the time, especially new exercises, is they want to do everything straight away. And that's fine, except when your body stops responding to that, now you have no room to scale up. Your body's going to respond to less stimulus. So do less. If we, can, if we can get results by doing less, why not do less? So start on the lower end of things. Let's say this week you start at five, rep, five uh, rounds and then next week you do six rounds and so on and so forth from there. So give yourself an opportunity to continue to see progress. Tip number five and my last one is gonna be stay active throughout the day. Now this is gonna be super, super challenging if you are stuck in the house. Um, something that I say to my clients even when we do have access to the gym is on rest days is to keep moving. We don't just wanna sit there and, and, and do absolutely nothing all day. We wanna keep the blood flow going. We wanna keep those joints moving. That's gonna aid in our recovery and ultimately it's gonna aid in our results. In this scenario here, it's gonna be even more important that you make a conscious effort to stay active in order to keep that, that um, calorie burn at least somewhat close to, to what you would be doing on a regular day. So just try and move around. Um, if you are allowed to go out for a walk, if you're not allowed to clean the house, um, do the laundry, find something that you can do to stay active there. Okay, so those are my top five tips nutrition, train to failure, keep the rest periods short, scale your workouts and stay active throughout the day. Hopefully you find that, found that useful. As I said, if you haven't downloaded my um, free muscle at home program already, go ahead and do it. I will post a link to that down below. If you have downloaded the program and you like it, feel free to share it with as, as many as people as you can. Um, I'm just trying to look into try and get this out there as much as possible. Um, stay safe out there guys and have a good one.